What's going on, everybody? Yo, look, look where we're at. Where are we? We're inside the track cutter. Day 53. Take a little break, get some coffee. Tell y'all about our morning so far. I've been cutting by myself all morning. Michael had to be off today. We put Matt on the loader. I'm on the cutter by myself. Five. We've done five so far. Six should be coming in today. It's Saturday. We're going to do eight again today. We had to, as I stated in uh, yesterday's video, we had to switch locations as to where we can send our product. They won't buy this mess no more. It's gotten so bad at our normal mill that we sell to. They can't use the product to make their product. So we had to send to a different place. It takes a little bit crappier wood. Crossing our fingers, they don't run us off from there before we get done with this. We have about three, two or three days left here. So, I'm going to finish this cup of coffee. Y'all hang out. I'm going to go back here. We're going to start cutting on the, it's going to be the north end of this track. We're going to go down there and knock out. I'm saving a ridge up through here. So this is Timbermatic. And uh, like I said, I'm working on a good detailed video of what this is. This is a computer tracking system for my operation. Um, the Y'all can see there's the skitter icon. And then I'm kind of hidden underneath the skitter icon. But all of the lines is where we've been one color is for the cutter the blue is for the cutter the, the yellowish green is for the skitter the red dashed line is my boundary this shaded in red area here is an smz that i'm having to stay out of and i'm fixing to go work on this little patch right here just to the left and above the skitter icon there was 43 acres here when we started. And this kind of shows you all the information that's in the computer right now. Collecting the data and everything else. I'm trying to roll y'all around where the screen, the screen glare isn't so bad. But anyway, you can kind of see it tells you your tonnage, estimated tonnage that's on the ground, all that stuff. So there's a lot of cool stuff going to come out with that here in the soon near future from my channel. Um, if you would like more information on it, check out the John Deere's YouTube page and uh, if you want to get this stuff in your equipment let me know and uh, I can get you contact information you should be able to ask your dealer but um, if your dealer is not aware or for whatever reason I don't if he lives under a rock I don't know but anyway just let me know if, if y'all are having issues trying to get this in your machine it's only for John Deere equipment and uh, if you're interested in it I will see what I can do to kind of help you out get set up with it because this is awesome 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 to have y'all hang tight we'll be back all right so we're gonna do a voiceover on this piece here this is not what I wanted this is completely farther from what I wanted this is what I had to settle with for the day um, the GoPro mounts whenever I went to stick them out on the machine I noticed that I had a crack in one of the mounts. So I ended up just sticking it inside the cab. I tried it in two places. I looked at the other video footage. You can't see anything. The sun glare is horrible off the windows. The windows are filthy in the thing. That's why I hate putting the, the GoPros or the cameras anymore. I hate putting them inside the machines because you can't see what you actually need to be seeing um so just i don't know we're, we're gonna ride inside the cab and i think i talked to y'all a little bit i'm not sure i'm gonna scroll ahead of this a little bit better but anyway it's it's something good to watch for y'all i mean i'm not exactly perfectly happy with it but uh it's it's still decent content uh, a lot of people like riding inside the track cutter. I would rather have y'all. My favorite place to put y'all is you see the computer monitor. I like to stick y'all on the just under it on the outside. There's a metal beam. I can stick y'all to it, and you ride there, and it's, it gives y'all great perspective of what the machine is doing and everything. But anyway, we didn't get it there. I didn't want to stick the GoPro out there, and because the, the track cutter has a lot of vibration, and then the vibration make the GoPro fall off and be 
because you know they were cracked the mounts were cracked the little plastic mounts are cracked and that's the last thing i want to do is lose the gopro so anyway y'all y'all just hang out and ride with this and i've got some other footage somewhere in here i'm gonna mix in that i actually took from today while we was at work uh where i stuck the gopro out on the head and and worked a little bit in that situation so anyway y'all just hang tight y'all enjoy Go subscribe if you're not subscribed, and uh, I'll try and do better tomorrow for y'all. Because in my opinion, this is this is not my best work right now. <laughs> I'm not happy with this, but anyway, y'all enjoy it.
he gave me a call to Gordon Brady. We got Skidder and just run down this road. Put the blade down, back dragging some of that trash out. Hey, it looks better. 